All right, guys, so in this one, we're going to look at how we can handle a table view cell action as well as push that data from one table view into another view controller. So let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, let's actually hop into Xcode and we're going to create a new Xcode project and it's going to be a single view application and we'll call it something like cell action. Click next and create. Now uh, let's expand this a little bit. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete this view controller file. So move that to the trash and let's jump into the storyboard and we're actually gonna delete this view controller. And instead we'll drag on a table view controller and we'll make sure we'll set that as the initial view controller. And then we also, while we're in here, we wanna drag in another view controller. Just like that. Then over here, if we right click, we want to add a new file. And it's going to be a, a Cocoa Touch class. And it's going to be a subclass of UI Table View Controller. And we can just, we'll just call it Table View Controller for now. And we'll click Next and hit Create. And then let me actually change these preferences quick. So midnight. All right, there we go. All right, so back in the storyboard, we're going to click on this table view controller and set it as that class like that and uh, let's create two more files next one is going to be of type UI view controller and we'll just call it view controller and create that and then thirdly new file Coco touch subclass and it's going to be of type UI table view cell and we'll just call it table view cell and we'll create that as well so let's actually link everything up so if we click on the cell we want to make sure that's a table view cell um, and we might as well give the cell an identifier for a while so we'll just call it cell and then this view controller right here we want to set the class to view controller like that all right, and now if we control drag from this cell to here, we're gonna click uh, the selection segue show, and that'll create a segue between this controller and this controller. And if we click on this segue, we're just gonna call this one uh, segue one for now. And you'll see in a moment uh, why we did this and what this actually does. So let's jump into the table view controller. And inside here, we're actually gonna clean up some things that we don't need. Um, don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. And do not need this one. All right. So up here, let's st start by creating a, an array and we'll just say, let numbers equals, and we'll create an array. We'll say one, two, and three. So that'll create uh, our numbers array that will load into our table view. So now actually in our view to load, we want to say table view, sorry, table view dot delegate equals self, and also table view data source is equal to self. All right, so next, um, under number of rows in section, we just want to return how many we have in this numbers array. So we're just going to say return numbers dot count dot count. And then the next method we actually want to use is uh, it's called cell for row at index path. And inside here, we're actually going to set up our cell to load inside the table view. So let's give some space here. All right, so let's say let cell equals table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier. And make sure you use the one with index path. So now inside of this string, we're going to say cell. And if you remember back in uh, here, in this right here, 
we get the identifier of cell. So that's where we get that from. And then index path is just index path like that. And then it's going to be as type table view cell because we set that up right here. So now we actually want to get some information into our um, table view. So cell dot text label dot text is equal to numbers, and then we want to give it index path dot row. And essentially, what the index path dot row is, it'll get you the cell that you click on and provide you back to what uh, string is in that position. And then lastly, we just need to return the cell. Now we're going to add an, one more function here. It's going to be did select row at. And inside of here, we're just going to say self dot, uh, or no, segue. I'm going to say self dot perform segue with identifier. And I, it's going to be. Um, segue one, I believe is what we called it, and identify or er, sender is a cell. And that segue one is the name of this segue right here. So whatever you call that, make sure you change that to this variable right here. And then lastly, we're just going to uncomment this last method here, which we're actually going to use, and it's the prepare for segue. So inside of here. Um, this is where you're going to be able to send and pass information to the next view controller. So what we're going to do in here is first we're going to say if segue.identifier equals equals and then we'll say segue1 then we're going to say let next scene equals segue dot destination I don't know why that's not auto completing segue dot destination there we go as view controller and then we're gonna say let index path equals self dot table view dot index path for row or index path for selected row sorry and then uh, let's say something like let selected row equal numbers index path dot row and then lastly, let's just say next scene. And we'll actually hold off on this for right now. So the last, so what we're actually gonna do is we need to go into our view controller here. And inside our view controller, we're just gonna create a variable. And we're gonna call it a uh, detailed string perhaps. And it's gonna be a type string. And that way, that's what we can set our cell info to. So we can set um, whatever is in that numbers array to this variable right here. So that's how we will be able to pass it to. So now if we go back into here, we should be able to say next scene dot detailed. And sometimes you actually have to clean the uh, project or it won't autocomplete for whatever reason. It's a little bug. But um, yeah, now if we do next scene dot detailed string is equal to selected row. And then the last thing we actually need to do is just drag in a label to represent our data. And we'll just uh, tie these up. So if we control click from here, and we'll call that detail label like that. The only thing we need to do is under the view did load. Inside our view controller class, we just need to say detailed detailed label dot text is equal to detailed string. 
So now if we go into here and we run the application. All right, guys, and actually I have this spelled incorrectly here, so I changed it quick. But in our simulator here, you can see that it loads a little funky because of the aspect ratio. But if we click on one of the cells, if we click on three, it'll push us into that next view controller. And right here, with the label is uh, number three. So there you go, guys. I hope you learned. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Catch you next time.